It's exotic. It's whimsical. It's beautiful. But more than anything, it's magical. This is the Houdini Estate, a lush, five-acre oasis of terraced gardens, fountains, and mystery. Hidden away in the Hollywood Hills, this local landmark is a popular location for movies, TV shows, photo shoots, and private events. But obviously, it's called the Houdini Estate for a reason. The world-renowned illusionist and escape artist actually lived and worked here, and even practiced his water escapes in the estate swimming pool. Harry Houdini was born Eric Weiss in Budapest, Hungary in 1874. His family immigrated to the United States when he was a young child and eventually settled in Wisconsin. When Eric was a teenager, he became inspired by French magician Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin and took on the stage name Harry Houdini to honor him. Eric, now Harry, soon became a renowned illusionist, magician, and escape artist. He was famous for his daring and seemingly impossible feats of escape and illusion. In his escape acts, he would free himself from handcuffs, chains, and straitjackets while hanging from great heights or submerged in water. He was also skilled in sleight of hand and helped to popularize magic in the form of entertainment in the early 20th century. In 1919, Harry Houdini made California's Laurel Canyon his home while he pursued a career in Hollywood's film industry. Houdini and his wife Bess resided here during his LA excursions, but they were guests. The estate belonged to a friend, a friend who just so happened to have a deep water tank that Houdini could use to practice his underwater routines. Harry Houdini died at age 52 on October 31st, 1926, due to complications from a ruptured appendix. It's believed that the condition was caused by a punch to the stomach that he didn't take seriously and continue to perform despite the pain. His widow, Bess Houdini, came back to Laurel Canyon in 1934 and organized at least one seance to communicate with the spirit of her deceased husband. Reportedly, Houdini was strongly against seances and people who claimed to speak to the beyond. But before he died, he and Bess came up with a plan to prove they were hooey. A plan? and a secret code word. Whoever survived the other would try for 10 years to contact their spouse through a seance. So if her husband's spirit appeared and didn't know the secret code word, then someone was pulling a seance scam. As far as we know, Houdini never dropped in. A year later, during the summer of 1935, she hosted a cocktail party at the mansion for 500 magicians and their spouses who were visiting Hollywood for a convention. It was then that the mansion began being referred to by the media as the Houdini House. In 1959, the mansion lost two upper stories in a fire that burned through much of the Laurel Canyon neighborhood. Today, the estate and its gardens have been restored. Outside, the grounds are like a paradise. The estate is tended by 15 gardeners and both century-old trees strange artwork, and thousands and thousands and thousands of flowers. Thanks to a natural water spring, the gardens are fresh and green all year round. There are fireplaces, gazebos, fountains, a heated pool, an outdoor spa, and even an hour of hiking trails with gorgeous canyon vistas. The property is also home to koi fish, peacocks, turtles, bullfrogs, blue herons, and wild deer. The property's main house has two stories, four bedrooms and a ton of living space with an open plan kitchen. Because this is such a hot destination for Hollywood productions, there are also a wardrobe and makeup area. Please, please, no pictures. Sunny SoCal charm, the high drama of live performance, and everywhere you turn, nature. This place is truly magical. Are you ready to move into your very own enchanting estate? Take a look at available properties now at BrocketHomes.com. This is the Houdini Estate. Gardens, whoa, and mystery. <laughs> <laughs>